Jax is a, an amazing athlete. And I think he's proven that at his time at Ohio State. I just had a chip on my shoulder, you know, that I'm the best. You watch the film and you can see that, watch his highlight tape and you can see that. But the work ethic that he's brought this entire time here, the focus that he's had, especially coming off of an injury, has been huge. My name is Jackson Smith and Jigba, wide receiver, and I am a professional football player. How I got into football, I was playing football ever since, you know, I was, I, I could walk. Uh, my dad, he was the first generation, you know, to be born here in America, and he played football. He played middle linebacker. Had me and my brother young, you know, for that reason, my brother grew up in the sports. He was the first one, played baseball, basketball, football, and uh, was a quarterback growing up. So when I was little, when I was three years old and was able to walk and do all that stuff, you know, I would run out there and just play. Like, football was just always in my life. I love sports, I love baseball, I love basketball. Basketball, and it's always been there for me. My name is Nick Hill. I'm a performance specialist here at Exos Arizona. Today's just touching the bench. So again, we built the strength over the last eight weeks. So they just need to keep touching that weight, 225. We're just doing a little bit of volume with it, keep the stimulus on them for pro day. I love working with Nick. You know, he's a young, energetic guy. You know, understands the technical things that football players need to do to, you know, run fast and be athletic and take care of their bodies. So what I'm looking for is bar speed with that to make sure the bar is still moving pretty fast. Essentially the first half of their set and then the second half of their set and see what they're hitting. Today we had a little a speed session in the morning, worked on a little 40 start, and then we hit a little change of directions. I'll get you back to your show in like 10 seconds. I just wanna let you know that we have another show called Press that I think that you'll love. Here's a quick clip. No, oh, yeah. What are boogers made of? What are boogers made of? Yes. I think it's like dried up snot, right? Make sure you're subscribed to Whistle on YouTube so you know when it drops. A little competition warm up, the warm up that they'll do at Pro Day or that they did in Indy. Some start work for their 40 and then just touching up the drills, pro agility and three cone. Straight leg shuffle, straight leg bound, turn over and run. He's fast now. I mean, he looks great, top end speed. So I think even though they have him tagged as like a slot guy, route runner, he'll be able to create separation on the outside as well. I think he'll surprise some people with some of his top end work. I feel like I was ready. I was built for competition. I was built for big games and Texas definitely helped me develop that. I was fortunate enough to play on a good team and we went far in the playoffs. And you know, once you're that far, the whole state knows. It was a blessing to, to grow up and compete in Texas. In the cone drills, I was dialed into, you know, my change of direction, just trying to get out my brakes and have, you know, just straight powerful steps. Modeling my game after, you know, I definitely think I'm me, I'm Jackson, I'm one of one, but I definitely watch a lot of film. Devontae Adams and, you know, how he can separate at the line. His speed work is number one, like um, Jamar Chase how skinny he gets and just runs through guys. Doesn't give, you know, cornerbacks a cutoff angle, which is very key. Stefan Diggs is another one. Um, his over-exaggeration on his routes, turning his shoulders, turning his eyes, you know, stemming up the DB and creating space for himself. And Cooper Cup, um, just, you know, how he takes advantage of the defense, finding the zone, you know, those are the key things I take away from those four guys. Something I never take for granted is just putting that Buckeye helmet on and just being on the field. And you know, I had opportunities to play as a freshman, which a lot of people, a lot of kids don't get to do. So that was very special to me being on the field, the 2021 season, just, you know, the team that we had, the brotherhood that we had, you know, the 100,000 every weekend. My first touchdown, it was a blur, honestly. We had Nebraska during COVID year. I just remember getting smacked a couple of plays before, you know, coach wanted to take me out. <laughs> but I was like, nah, just keep me in. And then later that drive, Justin rolls to the right, makes a great throw. I'm on the backside running, make a crazy two touch grab touchdown. So, you know, as a freshman, I was, it was electric. Even though there was barely any people in the stands, I felt like there was already 100,000. May have gotten that foot in. Goodness. Playing with Justin Fields and CJ Stroud definitely made, you know, my life easier. You know, I tried to make their life easier, but, you know, it was, it was a good relationship. You know, coming in, just having Justin as your quarterback and, you know, a leader, a person who's been there, done that, been on the biggest stage and was a great leader, a hard worker. And I think CJ, you know, took everything he could from Justin and, and ran with it. You know, he, he definitely got his own style.
The biggest lesson I learned just coming off of this last season is you can want something, but you know, if God doesn't have that plan for you, then he doesn't have that plan for you. And, you know, I don't know if God would be doing me a favor, giving me another 1,600-yard season, 10-plus TD. So, you know, I just take what's given to me and just try to run with it and, you know, just serve him and try to, you know, be the best you can be. My um, grandfather and grandmother from Sierra Leone. My grandfather came here in the late 70s, early 80s, went to Michigan State, got adopted by a family named Smith. So that's where the Smith and Jigba came from. For me and my brother to have that name on our back, and, you know, it means everything representing our family. I mean, a lot of people don't know a lot of Njigbas, you know, just running around here. So, you know, I always have something to prove, especially not playing this last season, you know, me feeling and knowing that I'm the best here. And I just wanted to showcase that. I felt like I did good, definitely could have done a lot better, but I'm just happy, you know, the pro day's coming up and I can show them even more, you know, what I got. I got a lot more in the tank, you know, to show them. So um, I'm happy, I'm excited for pro day for real, but, you know, approaching and, you know, you know, they came to see me and, and I'm here to put on a show. What's up? What's up? Oh, you know what's up? Uh -huh. Everything been up. Yeah. Now you see the numbers. Yeah.